Good morning, everybody. All right. I'm going to give everybody a couple minutes to join us. So excited for this episode of Curiosity Corner Live. Hopefully you guys are joining me at home or you're going to catch up. I did see so many amazing photos and comments from the videos. Hi, Veronica. Sarah, it's so lovely to see you. So we saw a lot of photos and videos from yesterday's challenge. If you didn't see that video, make sure you go and check it out after today's video. I have a sinking suspicion that you're going to enjoy that one. I do want to, however, give a couple of really awesome shout outs to some of those that shared their photos and comments on Facebook. It seems like everybody had such a great time. And you know what? As a scientist, for me, it is a amazing to see such collaboration and teamwork because really that's how science works. Whenever you do science, you have to work together. So I love seeing that collaboration and I love to see parents helping your young scientists at home as well. So you'll notice a little bit of a bit different background today. And the reason is, is because I'm bringing you STEM from STEM fun from my home to yours. So you're going to look forward background, a lot of different faces too, because we're going to have a lot more of our Great Lakes Science Center team members joining in on these activities. In order to do the best that we can, well, we want to know from you what you liked as well. So it looked to me like uh, Julie, Zone, and Alina from yesterday, your whole family got in on the fun action, including the dog. I loved that. That's awesome. Nikki Halverson, are you here again? I know that you had commented that you guys had so much fun. Hi, Erica, Sarah. It's so good to see you. Emily Tate. Hey, how's it going? So let's see. Who else do we see photos from? Uh, Shana, what are you going to do with your fortune? Did you... Uh, do anything with those 114 pennies you got to float in your boat? Karen, Karen Ann, I really love the innovation by adding seats into your boat. What a great idea that you guys had. I do, however, have to give a shout out to Amy DeNurse. Amy DeNurse, I think you take the record. All right, so those are our shout outs from yesterday. Again, you know, we're trying this at home. We're trying this at the Science Center. We wanna know what you guys are trying as well. I've been having such a good time experimenting with this, and I'm so excited to continue to bring more interactive fun activities from different venues like my own home. So let's see. Yesterday at 3 p.m., I posted a video, and I gave you a sneak peek and a hint as to what today's video or what activity we're going to be doing today. I told you that you need two different materials you needed paper, and tape. Now I'm using regular copy paper and masking tape, but use whatever you have at home. Be innovative, be creative. Maybe you've got a whole bunch of old coloring pages that you're looking to do something with, or maybe you've got a newspaper sitting around. Hi Carter, hi Elvis, LV and JC. Whatever paper you've got at home, just because I happen to have copy paper and, and masking tape is what I'm gonna use. But today's challenge is to see how tall we can build a tower using just paper and tape. Let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is remember, just like in yesterday's video, we're engineers. And engineers have a couple of different ways that they can go about solving problems like building the tallest tower. Sometimes you want to draw a solution to that problem. Sometimes you want to just get building. Hmm. That's the technique I'm going to use. I'm just going to start building. And I rolled my paper because I noticed that the paper isn't very strong. But if I roll it, I can add a little bit of strength to that paper. Hardest part is always getting the tape roll started, right? Just talk amongst yourselves. All right. I got it. This is where teamwork is really helpful. You know, maybe you've got somebody who rolls the paper. Maybe you've got somebody who cuts the tape. I think I need somebody here who can help me start the roll of tape. All right, I'm excited. So now we've got part of our tower build it, built. It won't stay up. 
You see, there's this force acting upon everything. We learned a little bit about that force yesterday. That force is gravity. And gravity is acting upon this paper. It'll stay flat if I set it on the surface, but if I hold it up like this, sometimes it falls over. And the reason is, is because those balance of forces. I'm gonna see if I can get a tower to stand if I roll it in the diagonal as well. I'm really curious to see how you take these challenges and make them your own. So don't forget to share photos and videos and let us know how tall was your tower. So we're exploring forces and sometimes if you explore forces like gravity, we notice that if I wanted to hold this broom right in the center, oh, it keeps falling and you'll notice it falls to the side with the broom itself. And that's because that's where the center of mass is. And when we build a really tall tower, we need to figure out where that center of balance is. So if I wanted to get this broom to balance on just two fingers, which direction do you think I should move my hand? Should I move it closer to the mass or further away? Hey, you know what? A broom is a simple machine, it's called a lever. And if I wanted to take this broom and balance it on two fingers, I need to move the fulcrum or that point of balance closer to the side that has the greater mass. So it's pretty easy if you're building a long structure, but if we're building towers and towers, and guess what? The center of mass is a little bit different. Didn't know you'd have a juggling act today too, did you? So that's what we need to balance, is we need to figure out where the center of gravity is. And I think I'm about ready to measure my tower because I'm pretty happy with my tower. See if I can get it to stand on end again. Oh, well, you know what? For our purposes, I think it's okay if we use a little bit of reinforcement on the bottom. So I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on the bottom and then I wanna measure how tall my tower is. Oh no, you know what I just realized? I didn't bring a ruler with me. Hey, those of you in the comment section, what do you think? I don't have a ruler. How can I measure how tall my tower is? Hmm. I have to think about this. Let's see. I have an idea. My paper happens to be standard copy paper, which means it's eight and a half inches by 11 inches. And I can use paper to measure my tower. That's awesome. Isn't science great? All right, so we've got 11 inches and, ooh, not quite 11 inches on that end. I'm gonna need to do some calculations to figure out just how tall my tower is. And then I think what I'm gonna do after this I'm gonna see just how much weight my tower can hold. I have to think about what I can use. I happen to have Play-Doh. I'm gonna see how much Play-Doh I can get to stand on the end of my tower. I will say, probably not the tallest tower. I wouldn't climb to the top of this tower if I were you, but it's part of the fun is experimenting with different designs. Now, one of the things I do wanna mention is I have an awesome, opportunity for you all to take this fun learning experience to the next level with the help of one of our great partners McGilvery Freeman Films you can be on the lookout for more information to links to some of their best videos now science center is closed it's for everybody's health and wellness and we want to make sure that we protect everybody in our community. So we're coming to you live every day at 1030. We're going to post another video at three. Make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well as, well, might as well subscribe to this because we're going to be coming to you every day so that you can continue to stay in touch with us and learn more about the things that we're doing to keep STEM relevant in your lives. McGilvery Freeman, our partners, they want to do the same thing. So they actually have some of our favorite films available to you to watch at home. We're gonna post a little bit more information about that later on. One of my favorite films that I saw was on their list is called Dream Big. And it's all about engineering, just like what we did yesterday and today, and we'll continue to do. So make sure that you follow us, like, comment, subscribe, and continue to forward these notifications over to your friends at home because we want you guys to have as much fun and learn as much as you possibly can 
from the comfort of your own homes. All right, so I think I learned a lot about the engineering design process. I'm going to continue to engineer and design this structure because, well, it already fell over. But that's part of the fun. I really want to see what you do at home. So make sure that you post those videos, share these links with everybody else. And remember, as always, stay curious. Until next time.